Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So we are looking at example problems in the Z transform right to understand the various properties and applications of the Z transform. So let us continue that discussion uh, to do our final example. So we, uh, we are looking at example problems We are looking at example problems for the Z transform okay. and uh, let us look at the last example, example number 9 that is consider we are looking at we will look at a difference equation consider the LTI system described by the constant coefficient differential e uh, difference equation correct. different desired described by the difference equation we are looking at a difference equation and the difference equation is given as y n minus y by 2 y n minus 1 plus y n minus 2 equals x n. Now, what we are interested in finding is for this we want to find the impulse response and the transfer function. So, first we want to find the transfer function h z and the impulse response for the above system. Remember H z, this is the transfer function and H n, this is the impulse response. Okay. And uh, this can be done as follows, if we consider the Z transform on both sides and then what we have is if you take the z transform of y n, let us say we denote the z transform of y n by y z minus. Now, the z transform of y n minus 1, remember this is the delayed version of y n, therefore the z transform of y n minus 1 will be y z times z inverse that is y z times z raise to minus 1. Okay. So, minus 5 by 2 y z times z raise to minus 1 plus the z transform of y n minus 2 which is naturally y z into z raise to minus 2 and this is equal to z transform of the right, z right hand side is x n, so z transform is x z. So, this implies that basically we have something very simple, we have y z times 1 minus 5 by 2 z inverse plus z minus 2 equals x z, which implies y z by x z y z by x z equals 1 divided by 1 minus 5 by 2 z inverse plus z minus 2 which is equal to z square 
divided by z square minus 5 by 2 z plus 1 all right and this is basically your y z by x z which is the transfer function ok. So, this is basically the transfer function that is z transfer z transform the impulse response. transfer function of the LTI system. Now, also H z now remember H z equals z square by z minus 2. So, the poles are z equals 2 comma half because we can write this as now H z can also be simplified as observe z square over z minus 2 2 into z minus half. So, there are two poles uh, at z equal to 2 and z equal to half. These are poles, each pole has multiplicity 1, all right. So, these are simple poles and the poles are z equal to 2 and z equals half, ok. So, now we are going to perform the partial fraction expansion to find the inverse z transform. So, consider now h z over z. So, we use the partial fraction expansion. for the inverse z transform and this is equal to uh, well z over z minus 2 into z minus half and let us say we express this as c naught minus over z minus 2 plus c 1 over z minus half. Now, we consider this let us also be consider a system that is a causal ok consider a causal system. So, causal system implies that uh, remember causal system implies that it has to be a right handed signal. Therefore, ROC is of the form it has to be greater than equal to 2 since 2 is the maximum magnitude of the poles correct. So, since we have a causal system a causal system implies that the impulse response is a right handed signal for a right handed signal the ROC will be of the form magnitude z is greater than R max where R max is the maximum uh, maximum magnitude of the poles of the transfer function. All right. So, causality implies that the ROC is of the form magnitude z greater than 2 and uh, which is basically also equal to R max remember. Okay. So, this is equal to R max maximum of the amplitude of the poles of the transfer function. Now, here now once we have done that now it is easy to relatively easy to find C naught we have done this several times before. So, C naught it is a simple pole. So, z minus 2 times uh, h z over z evaluated at z equal to 2 which is basically your z over z minus half evaluated at z equal to 2 which is basically 2 divided by 2 minus half that is 3 by 2. So, this is equal to 4 by 3. Now, similarly C 1 C 1 equals z minus half into a z over z evaluated at z equal to half which is equal to z divided by z minus 2 evaluated at z equal to half. So, that is basically half divided by half minus 2 equals half divided by minus 3 over 2. So, that is basically, so C 1 equals 
minus 1 by 3. And therefore, what we have is H z over z equals uh, you have 4 over 3 divided by 1 over z minus 2 minus 1 over 3 times 1 over z minus half. And therefore, H z itself equals 4 over 3 into z over z minus 2 minus 1 over 3 into z over z minus 2 and we have the ROC magnitude z greater than 2 implies this is causal of course, right? implies this is a right handed signal. implies is a right handed signal, which implies that uh, this quantity h of n that is the impulse response h of n is simply 4 by 3, 2 raised to n q n minus 1 by 3 of course, this is z over z minus half minus 1 over 3 times half raise to n u n that is basically your impulse response of the LTS system described by the of the causal LTS system described by the differential equation. Okay. described by difference equation described by the difference equation given in the problem all right so basically what we have seen in this problem is we have seen a difference equation all right an lti system described by a difference equation how to find the transfer function from that and how to invert the transfer function correct to find the impulse response that is the uh, response of the LTS system in that response of the LTS system to an impulse uh, in that time. All right, so, we will stop here and look at other aspects in the subsequent modules.